Good morning. So we are going to start this session one minute early. So let's get. So uh, I'm Kurun Jalmi, one of the core team members of CV. And uh, this session will uh, give you brief info about what's, what's there in CVCM 4.5. And a team has been working really hard on this release. And I hope uh, and we are super excited that it came out last week. And I hope you all are also super excited when I'll show you all these things. So before we get into details about this, uh, I want to show you a few stats, what went, uh, what kind of effort went into this 4.5 release. It has around approximately 800 improvements, features, bug fixes. We have now approximately three, one to eight, three to be more precise tests that ensures that the release is quite stable. People can go download and use it for their production. This release has around 4,200 commits, which are done by around 110 contributors. So now I'm going to get into some of the main features that we introduced in 4.5. One, the, one of them is the partial payment for events. So now you can actually partial, uh, registering for an event on the back end, you can use partial payments. So basically if someone is, the event fee is actually 200, you can pay 100 and then record a payment later. So it shows you the right balance amount You can also change the registration for each event. So if someone has signed up for 200, then you can also change it to 100, then it will show you how much amount you owe him, and then also record the refunds for the event registration, which was uh, one of the most interesting feature which we added in 4.5. We introduced this new case type UI. So uh, just to give a brief history, uh, so how many of you use case? Uh, few. All right. Uh, so the earlier the uh, case UI, there was no case UI, and you had to write an XML, and you need a developer's help in order to configure your case. Now we added this new UI, which makes it easier for admins to configure, and you can create your own case types. It's very intuitive uh, design, we think, and you can improve, uh, you can just drag and drop, add activities which you want to uh, in an event case. We also introduce a feature called pipeline or we call it as a sequence, which is like you want to create an activity after completion of a certain activity. So that is part of new case improvements. We uh, improved soft credits. We, now you can add new soft credits of various types. You can create your own soft credit types. This is a new UI, which helps uh, to give a soft credit for a particular contribution page. You can select the type. You can attribute the soft credit for the same donation to multiple people. You can also import the soft credits using the contact import screen. Okay, uh, so one of the main focus of 4.5 has been the usability. How to make CVSM more user-friendly and make it more responsive and without, uh, make it more intuitive for the admin user and the end user. So I hope after I finish this uh, UI thing, you're going to say this. <laughs> okay, let's start with search. Search has been improved or vastly, not in terms of only UI, but in terms of performance. Larger is your database, faster would be your search. Smaller is, is always faster, but larger, it will make it much more faster. We have test benchmarked it against one of few big databases and it's really performing uh, very better compared to previous releases. I'll go through each and every improvement at the end of session on the specific demos, but we have improved search. All all this search pager and all is now more responsive and it's AJAX driven. So it's very intuitive for the end users to use. 
now we have these quick actions from the search you can click on any of the actions right just add a note close it that's it add a contribution move along so you don't have to go view a contact and then add a an action so it's much more productive much more cleaner search and improved performance we added more metadata for most of the selectors like event when now event name type some description so that there's no confusion with regards to by finding the names with like because when i used to find for civicon i used to get so many civicons and it's hard to figure out which civicon is the right one we replace lot of widgets with new this kind of cool multi select widget wherein you can select and it's like you can search select much more intuitive we simplified lot of forms one of them is the relationship and the create new form so the earlier we used to have a drop down here now once you want to create a new organization you get this new organization out here and once you do we get this nice colored fancy pop ups and save that's it done we did a complete over of a uh, change or restructure case in terms of ui functionality a little bit and then the pager so it's much more faster and performance wise is much better so so this is a another feature which we added is multi, uh, we extended this feature of multiple custom data records which means you can add multiple instances of same custom data and you can have your own display style let me explain what i meant so now in this case this is a ex one of the example of multiple records where i have organizations job title start date end date but this actual custom data also has description so you can selectively decide which one to be shown in your pager uh, in the selector and which one is the exactly entire form so you can have many as many fields as in possible but you want to highlight only few which is now possible in this new improvement so now we have change honorary profile into a honorary section into a profile driven so you can create your own profile and use it and you can add whichever fields you want to collect about the person of honorary and then you can select the soft credit type in honor in memory or whichever you would like to we reformatted lot of screens to make it less uh, cluttered and it's like much more clearer if you see out here there's no visivic editor which was blocking an entire screen now we have this small pencil icon you click it will expand if we have this profile with the inline profile editor once you click on this you will get a nice drag and drop profile editor which allows you to create the profile on the fly modify the profile on the fly without going to a profile administration screen which makes it much more easier you want to and also you could dynamically create custom data from this screen without going to a separate screen so it makes it much more user friendly and we have this pencil icon all around cvcrm and what is and it is visible only for admin so what does it do it gives your administrator okay there's some option missing in this uh in this select so let me add click there you'll get this kind of pop up you add new and you'll get a new option directly without going to another page it just reloads automatically so this is a quick overview and now i'll get into a demo and i'll, I'll demonstrate a few of this feature so that i make it more clear
Yeah. Uh, so one, another thing is uh, the forms are kind of responsive now. If you see my screen size is less, so it, instead of three column, it becomes two column layout. For example, in this screen, we have like four options, but I want to add one more. So I'll click on this pencil icon. And let's say I want to add another option called sir. Save, saved, and it's created here. So you don't have to navigate to some new page. It's all taken care of. And this icon is shown only for people who have uh, admin access. So it's not for everyone. Let's look at the search, which has a major changes. So let's say I'm going to search. So now we have no, now we have these actions, which is like you can't do anything. But once you select the contact, it automatically takes you. You can type in action, your favorite search for it rather than click. We have this pager. So let's say you have to go next page. It just reloads it faster. without being same thing works here and let's say I have to add a new action let's say add contribution record donation let's say and, and why not add some sub credit to this is a new contact creation form. So let's say I want to create a new contact. Uh, let me create my favorite contact. Hello, hi. There you go. You get the credit and another, and to give credit to another, oops, just one, not more. Maybe another contact. This is everyone's favorite character, Jendo. So, so both of them I want to give credit. Save. Done. You don't have to go anywhere else. Just all the action happens right time. Even the badge actions, like there's no head contact to group. It will go that you don't have to select go button, advisory, add to group. You're back, back to the same screen where you add it and all the context being added. So this is much more faster. And the screens, this is much more cleaner compared to the, what we had. You can configure which are options you need out here. Let's look at uh, the new feature, what we had it. Let's say, let me give a good fall fundraiser. Let's say he starts with 200 record of payment, but he made a payment of, one, let's say, only 100. So by check, <coughs> now he likes chicken combo, so save. If you go back to the record, it shows the brief history. Total fee was 200, he paid this. You can click on the view to look at the payment. When was the payment done? transaction ID, he can change the selection, or let's first record the payment for the remaining, oh, he owes 100. So let's say, make another payment, maybe cash.
there you go. So now it is totally paid balance, but then he calls you and saying that, says that, oh, I do not want to, I, my family is not coming, so just two of us are coming, so just say change. So now it tells you the balance is minus 100, which you can now record a refund saying that, okay, I gave him 100 by cash. So there you go. And all this history is being accounting friendly. So you can just export it in your QuickBooks or some accounting software, and then it's, it will be good to go. Cancellation also, once you cancel, it will ask you for refunds too. So we do all that yeah, yeah, minus plus all the stuff. So all all this part is very much accounting. It will do a double entry for cancellation against all the accounts and everything. Sorry? Will make many people happy. Yeah. But I hope not a lot, lot people cancel. You don't want that. <laughs> Once you cancel, everything is reflected here without actually reloading or something it's very cleaner interface. Now we have, you can have a specific duty rule for your particular event pages. It's like some of the event pages, you can have, you can define your own rules instead of using the default rules of email match you can use your own dedupe match to identify what duplicate is. You get this icon, you click on this, then only you get this big WYSIWYG editor, instead of which makes it much nicer. Profile icon we have added. Once you click, you can configure it, edit. Okay, email address. I want to add, oh, let's say, what do I need to add? How about city? And save. There you go. Oh, but I want it required. Can I do that? Click here. Of course I can. Required, save. There you go. And we have extended this to all event pages, contribution pages, <coughs> honorary blog, and on behalf. So it's much more easier without going to multiple pages. And if I want to create new, I could create new too. And let's say, oh, but I need some data which is my organization specific. Let's see if custom data works. Contacts, save, add a custom field. Then, Google's. Let me just reload the page. But the mission is kind of messed up. Edit. If my organization info, you just drag it here. This is required. Save. That's it. Once you save, all the data is being saved. So that's kind of uh, interface cleanup we did for most of the big managed pages. Go ahead. Um, just ask a question to Gabby. I found fields now. Um, is it? I didn't get you. Sorry. Well, when you when I went to new um, contacts, mm -hmm. when you click on the uh, client field, mm -hmm. start searching, mm -hmm. you get 
Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't happen in profile uh, mainly because a lot of people use profile for a public facing page and you don't want to display all your contacts for the public pages. So that's the reason why it doesn't happen for the profile for which is a public facing. Yeah, uh, so you, you have an option of creating a custom data of type contact reference and there's a permission that allows you to expose it on the public pages. So that will show you the contact lookup part. So that would then make your appeal predictable? Yes, it will, it will. <coughs> but a lot of people are very much sensitive about that data. They don't want search engines and everyone to just search and get all the data. So that's why. <laughs> Yeah, but of course, like if you have an employer and people type in the same name, let's say uh, you have an employer called CVCRM and you type in CVCRM, it will automatically create the employer relationship. It won't create a new contact behind. So it's just, it's just that it's not, it does not, it's not an autocomplete option. Okay. Uh, the other thing is managed case stuff. So we are uh, just uh, to give brief idea. We use we use a new framework Angular for this implementing this Angular and APIs, CV APIs, which are awesome. So once you click, you get this form. These are various roles which are assigned. These are various. You have your standard timeline which is like you open case once after open case after day one you create medical evaluation uh, this is a this is a default data what i'm showing you after after medical evaluation activity you create another activity and then after two days you create another activity so this is what a standard case looks like so case is basically you can say a bunch of activities are you which are predictable or you can create a case like a or you can say it's like a project wherein there are various phases and you can predefine and create your own case. In this case, this is the example. So what new uh, we added in this release is something called sequence, which is like you don't create a bunch of activities in advance. It just creates dynamically based on what activity is completed. So you can define hundreds of activities in sequence and saying that once this particular activity is complete, create a new one. And this, all these activities are like meeting, you just add them, SMS or maybe even the role. Save. That's it. It's saved and it's perfect. And just so, and just for the people who are already using case, there's the option where they can revert back to the XML format or revert back to the original. So there's a revert option. So it's helpful for people who are existing users or plus who are new users. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. And if the reference is, let's say, mental health evaluation, mm -hmm. not open case, but what medical evaluation. So, so the first one is always open case. That's by default. You can't change that. No, no. So I'm yeah. on the third one. Yeah. And I want to reference the one day mm -hmm. to the medical evaluation. Yeah, you can just. And I must like, so the drop down for open case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, in third case, oh. to the, a, third, 
updated? Yeah, based on, based on the this date, yes. Theoretically, yes. Uh, Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it should happen that way. So, okay, let's try to prove your theory or just what the heck. Okay, my theory, sorry. So let's create a new case. There you go. It worked? Or it yes, no, oh. I mean, whether it's dynamic CT now, um, updates the mental health evaluation. Oh, what, once the case is created, it, you, can't, you can't. Yeah, you can't change it. So you can only use the sequencing? Yeah. If you want to. Yeah. Uh, because once, once, once a set of uh, activities are created here, this, it won't change this sequence, but subsequent new case type, it will change. So this is new contribution page, and as I mentioned, these are the new options which are available. And we'll show you. And we have this new uh, nice uh, select, which are much more responsive, nice look. If you have, let's say, if you have a lot of groups, like what I have, it's nightmare to just scroll down and figure out which is a group, and you can just type in the name, and it's just like, yeah. A lot of people have this kind of group, like I group one, ten, two, three, so it's easier. <laughs> uh, same for tags. And all. Any questions? Is it possible to um, change the contact number? Yeah, it is possible to disable them. So if you go there, sub this you, you can't say this, can't no, not this. But the default subtype you can disable them. Yeah. You just, it's always because it's used internally, you can just, you can hide them from, so if you want, you don't give option out here. This is all controlled by a navigation menu. So you can just remove from a navigation and just hide them. Like there's this navigation menu. So I say contacts. So I don't want to use household, edit, save, so it's gone, so visually it's being hidden, you just don't expose them. Any more questions, 4.5? Uh, I would say we migrated a lot. We, we tested it on our own cvsam.org, which has around 10,000 plus users, and it worked. So uh, <laughs> we tested on a few big the databases, and that also worked. For, there was one, one of the consultants who tested on his live client side database, he said, and there were some problems during the beta cycle or alpha, late alpha cycle, which has been cleared and it's been pretty stable since then. Well, we, we had a long beta cycle, like we had, I think around nine or eight betas. So that kind of helped us 
to improve the stability and fix the bugs which we found uh, along the way. So upgrade, I, I think it's quite stable when it comes to upgrade. And we have like a lot of tests. That's one of the things which we have been focusing, ensuring that tests are being added uh, for each and every issue which has been created. And uh, as Lobo mentioned earlier, like whenever some, someone submits a pull request or commit, we test it against our test suit, whether it's creating a regression or not. Only once, once it passes, then it gets added to the code repository. So, which makes it, I think, quite stable. Mm -hmm. uh, very neat. Can can you do that? Can you load this window uh, by feeding in a link or something like that? For example, we are using uh, some use tables to display uh, information. For example, which event does this contact? Uh, like, could you do an add event or edit event from from that thing? Yes, the link and everything is it's a link, and you need to just add few things. If you're a developer, you can just add few links and it will, so that, yeah. It's all just few few links. I don't want to get into details, but there are few links which you, so you can virtually embed any of these pop-ups in any of your Drupal pages or WordPress or, and just use. That's another thing which we've done a lot on the developer front also. So it benefits not only users, but developers also. And just in case you don't like pop-ups, there's an option to turn them off too just in case, <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend them. So there's an option where you can turn off the op all these pop-ups and it won't bother you. So that's that. Right, any more questions? Yeah. It should, oh, okay. No, you mean like when you create a new membership? Uh, yeah. Out here. So you have obviously one of our organizations, or a new organization mm. joins, and we want to raise an invoice at the point of joining. So mm. at the moment, what we have to do, we, we add the organization, add the membership, relate the payments, add the contribution up to now, and then we have to save it and go back in. Mm -hmm. and then the invoice the no, that's means what easier option you could do is like maybe add a membership, record a payment out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no. Yeah, so it's not like yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, there's no. Sorry. So if the CV contribution ID changing it would not take those numbers. No, I think their their qu is question is they want to enter the invoice ID which is separate before creating here. An external yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Here you can't do, but when you add a contribution. You have this invoice ID, so, so that you can do. But I think there is like, if you're slightly Techy or developer friendly, just a few hours of work. It just, just, just add there. It's not much. <laughs> just a small extension or something. It's not something very. The reason why it's being kept that way is because too many fields kind of. Maybe someday, all these things would could be in a dialog pop up saying that just add a payment info, enter the info, it's recorded, and then you add a membership or some, some sort of thing which is much flexible and caters to the wider audience. But this is the four point six that you would mention that we would be putting into the all the invoices in the Yeah. 
So that's that's uh, that's uh, more about sale text and invoice. So that basically allows you to define a sale text for your any transaction. So you could create your own financial type called sale text and say that 10% of every donation type is, uh, is, is it will be a VAT specific amount and all those things are recorded in the accounting purpose. So when you export the data from a system, it sh doesn't show against your income, but it shows against the VAT account. So it's easier to map against. So that's a slightly different. And also it allows you to print invoices. So like, which is like UK friendly invoices and all those formats, PDF formats. And you can see. You could print the invoices, but you would still have to go outside of Manitou for a bank to actually enter the invoice. That's correct. So, yeah, so, so there are, so these are a few of the improvements or things which we have done to make life simpler in CV. So, all right, if you, uh, if you have any questions, just ask, or you can just talk to me later. That's it I have today, all right? Thank you very much. Oh, okay, sorry, go. It's already live. It's, it's, no, it's all. Oh, it's the uh, demo is already on Sandbox. We'll, uh, we are not shifted to demo just because of CVCon, just to right. all of us are kind of bu were busy with this. So it's on the Sandbox. So if you go to Sandbox, it's already there on the Sandbox. Right. So, so demo.cv. And I'm not connected to internet. So. So it's demo.cvsam.org, and you can look at the sandbox, and you'll have a 4.5 up and running. And it's already released, so you can just download and grab it. So it's available for now. All right? Thank you.